What's going on card pack? Today we're going to look at the top 10 baseball cards that went up the most over the last week. Of course that's always a hot topic. Um, there's kind of someone newer on the list that I haven't seen in a while it seems but and he makes an appearance on here twice. So there's some interesting takeaways from today's uh, from today's data. So we'll dive into that in a second. A few reminders, the audios from these videos, you can get it on the podcast, link in description. And if you want to get my top sports card pick of the day, join the Sports Card Society. It's only $12.99 a month or $129 a year. Um, it's like 40 cents a day. And what I do is I publish a new video almost every day just for the society members. It's short, only about five minutes long. I show the card, data research, reasoning as to why I like the buy, and what I plan on doing with it. When do I plan on selling it? Uh, previous example, here's this Baker Mayfield here. We were getting it for uh, about 200, uh, well, well under 300 bucks. We'll just put it that way in March and February. And here in June, here it is going for 510 bucks. So that more than pays your entire year's membership of the Sports Card Society, by the way. But uh, lots of good stuff like that going on. There's just right now, there's really good buys going on. And I'm as excited as I've ever been in the past year in the sports card market. So because everyone's so fearful, everything's just on super sale. And I just, I'm just buying them up, me and the society are. So check it out. Link in description, sportscardsociety.com. You also get to get in our Discord, which is uh, one of the best in the industry, I think, because people pay to be in it. Like they take it more seriously and they take sports card investing more seriously. So check it out. All right, here we are. We are in the market movers tool. We went to price movements by card. Um, and then I picked baseball in the grade PSA 10 because that is the grade that sets the tone for the entire market. Um, as you see here, number 10 on the list is Jordan Alvarez. His 2020 tops base. Pop count of 79.90. And if you don't know, pop count means this card in this grade. That's how many of them currently exist. There's a pop count for every graded card. 41 sales on the week. Uh, up 18%. Looks like it roughly went from 31 to 36. Jordan, I understand buying him. Um, not someone I've necessarily ever really bought many of, but good job, Jordan. That's number 10. Number 9 on the list. So we're just going to, the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, we're just kind of skim through them here on the surface. And then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we will dive in a little deeper. Shohei Otani, number nine on the list, is 2018 Tops Heritage. This was a card that I've certainly had. I think I've sold all the ones that I had. Um, pop count of 2297. I guess this one's number 602, for what that matters. But pop count of 2297. 22 sales on the week, up 18%. Shohei, still someone that I'm still buying because he just keeps dominating. And it's just no one's ever done what he's doing. And I think that he just keeps going up literally all season as long as he doesn't get hurt. That's always the caveat. Number eight on the list, Chris Bryant, his 2014 Bowman Draft base, pop count of 1,264, eight sales on the week, up 23.5%. Chris Bryant, good player, not someone I really buy a lot of. Um, do with that what you will. Again, Shohei, I'm probably a buy on. Uh, number seven on the list, Jordan Alvarez again, his 2019 Bowman Chrome Prospects Mega Box Mojo Refractor. That's a, that's a mouthful. Pop count of 1204. Eight sales on the week, uh, up about, about 24%. So Jordan, you know, obviously he's had a surge in the past week of um, popularity of, of, well, demand is the real word, isn't it? By the way, I really want to get to 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. These things support the channel so much. Thank you. Uh, 10987, number six on the list, Jack Flaherty. I can never say his name. I just want to say flattery every time. 2018 Tops Base, pop count of 680, so pretty low pop count. Eight sales on the week, up almost 26%. Jack, not someone I really buy a lot of. By the way, this Yordan back here, you know, like I said, I don't buy a lot of Yordan, but if I did, this would be the type of card I'd buy. These more shorter print cards though i think you could find because for 43 bucks for a pop count of 1204 for this mega box mojo refractor i'm i'm willing to bet that you could find something that's even more rare for still under 100 bucks so if i was gonna buy Jordan, i'd be looking for something like that um so number five on the list we'll start diving in a little deeper mr aaron judge the judge is in 2017 bowman number 32 base pop count of 2787 Seven sales on the week, up about 28%. Let's pull up Mr. Judge's chart. Where'd my coffee go? There it is. 
Mm -hmm. All right, let's check this out here. <clears throat> Aaron Judge, he's had a good week. This card, pop count's kind of high. I'm surprised there's not more sales data. 45 to start the week, 57.50 to end the week. That is interesting. Let's pull this back over 90 days and see what kind of path this card's been on. Uh, overall, looks like it's been kind of trending down with its oscillating between maybe 40 and 75, but overall trending down over that time. He's just a beast of a human, isn't he? Just looks like just looks like he's just going to crush the ball. He's a big guy. Aaron Judge, I mean, he's he's a he's a star player. He's on the Yankees, you know, the probably second most valuable team in sports in America after the Dallas Cowboys. But you know, I just I'm not I don't love buying Aaron Judge for some reason like his cards don't do what I feel like they should do in the market, which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so this card, I feel like I'd either be a hold or a sell on it, depending on where I got in at. That's me. Um, by the way, if you want to get the, um, as I go through these cards, I'll do buy, sell, hold. If you want to get emailed the list of buys before I publish the video, check out the Card Pack newsletter. Link in the description. It's free. Go ahead and join it. Just enter your email. Number four on the list. Fernando Tatis Jr.'s 2019 Tops Update Rookie Debut. Pop count of 17, 15, 12 sales on the week, up about 30%. By the way, what do you think of the baseball season so far? Like, how have you felt about it? All right, leave a comment below. I want to know what you feel about the baseball season so far. How's it been for you? Well, as, as a fan, as a, as, a, as a viewer, how's it been? I'm interested to see what people's takes are of this season so far. Um, anyways, let's chart this real quick. Again, pop count of only 1715. I have several of these. I've sold some, but I still have some. Um, I think I think I have like four of these still. I bought a lot of these um, in the off season, and me, well, the society did too because this was a card I was pushing pretty hard because uh, the pop count really isn't very high, right? I mean, that's pretty crazy. This card started the week at 83, ended the week at 116. I think that's kind of where it's been. It's usually been about between like 115, 130. Let's pull it back over 90 days. I sold a lot of these when his con when he signed that big contract because that's when stuff went to like almost 200 bucks. So that was about back here. Probably a little before that actually. Maybe we'll pull back 180 days quick. Let's see, but I was but me and the society were buying this in like December, January. So we were getting it down here. You know what I mean? For well under 100 bucks. And then it was just going up. And then the contract, and it was like, ba boom, 180 bucks. And it's like, so I was like, well, most of them I got for less than 90. So I'm like, I'm, I'll double my money. I ended up selling, I think, most of them for about 170. Um, I had a lot of these things. Again, the podcast's not crazy, but I, I just knew this was going to be an accessible card that had a decent pop count. It just made a lot of sense. And then it's been going down ever since, you know, ever since the season really started. And it's been kind of going up and down because he's having a really good year. I think it's kind of stable right now. I think its real value is about 115 bucks. I think that's probably about where it's really at. Let's go to eBay real quick. Because Tatis is a guy that, like, you know, the Padres, decent team. Tatis is fighting for the top home run leader spot. You know, that's always very prestigious you know one here's one for 120 your best offer 129 so these are pretty attainable um you know i think that these cards have a good chance to go up as we near the playoffs i mean that's a ways away but nonetheless and it's just something good to have anyways because i just like to tease the pop count isn't crazy at all you know 1700 i just think this is a good card to have that's why i still have some i mean if you know, if this card goes to 200 plus, I'll be probably sell them because they'll go down and I'll buy that more later. But Tatis is a guy I really like. So I would be a buy on this card, not because I'm looking to sell it tomorrow, because I just like the, 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 the outlook of it, period. And I think that it's at where it's, I think it's really kind of at its stable point. It's, um, it's support slash, I don't want to call it floor, but kind of, yeah. So I like it. So I'm a buy on that card. Maybe Tatis in general. But I'll put a link in the description for that uh, Tatis card. I'll put the, a link to eBay for that card if you want to take a look at it. 
Number four on the list, excuse me, number three on the list, Vlad Guerrero Jr., 2019 Bowman Chrome, number 73 base. Pop count of only 510 for a base card. Very interesting. Only nine sales on the week, but then again, that's almost a 2% sales volume. Up 38%. Vlad was a guy that me and the society were buying, no doubt about it, because like so many players were going up, but he wasn't moving, and I, I saw that in the charts and the data tool here and the market movers tool. By the way, if you don't have a data tool... You're just, you can't compete in this market because most people have a data tool and you can't win without it. You just can't. So get yourself a data tool. I like this Market Movers tool, certainly my favorite one. I'll put a link for the Market Movers tool in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. And I have the pro version of the Market Movers. I, I like because it just has more, more tools to it. So that link is in the description. Again, Vlad was someone me and the society were buying um, because he just wasn't moving. I mean, I didn't know he was into as good as he's, he's done, but I just felt like he was clearly undervalued. There would be like, oh, he had a sophomore slump. Well, it was COVID. He was a little overweight. It's a weird year. Like, I think that people close the door on people way too fast, often. You know what I mean? And Vlad was getting that, and so was Shohei. Shohei and Vlad and Tatis were by far, and Acuna actually, were the, by far the, the four biggest pushes I, ha I gave to the society in the off season. And all four of those seemed to have turned out pretty well, especially Shohei. Shohei was the one I was the biggest on because I felt like he was by far the most undervalued and I could just tell his potential. It's just that he'd been injured, you know? And so people really wrote it, too many people wrote him off. And I was like, he doesn't need to do much to get above where he is. Remember I bought... I bought that Topps Heritage one. I bought a PSA 9 for $10 at my local card shop. 10 bucks for a PSA 9. I'm like, what? What is this? This is, this is a graded card. It cost way more than that to get the damn thing graded at the time. And even more now. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. That's when, that's when I really started looking at Shohei because I'm like, wait a minute here. And this was like in December. And I was like, wait a minute. This is... I'm going to buy up a lot of Shohei cards. Dove Deep got in the data tool, you know, got market movers. And I started pulling up a lot of his cards. And I'm like, this is crazy. I mean, I was able to get his, like, tops, tops, chrome, all this refractors for, like, not graded cards for, like, nothing. And they're still going up this season. Anyways, Vlad was one of these guys. And I still think Vlad's a good guy to have. Let's pull him back 90 days. Maybe, if it goes back far enough, maybe you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, we were buying before here. Let's pull back 180 days. But he's just been going up. Look at that chart. You know, like 180 days just been going up. We were getting him back here. It was just like, I mean, I, I didn't buy this specific card, but I bought a lot of his refractors because they were just stupid cheap. Look at this. This card was 40 bucks in January, and today it's going for almost 150. You know what I mean? 140, we'll call it. That's quite a nice return. 309% over the course of 180 days. And he's just been going up. Let's zoom in on 30 days. It's just going, he just keeps going up because he's doing the home run lead. And, and like every time he keeps up with what he's doing, people, more and more people are buying in. So Vlad is someone I'm still a buy on because I think him and Shohei are just outperforming um, their expectations and they keep doing it. And even the most, and there's a lot of people still on the sidelines that are skeptical and Every time these guys do something new, every time they hit another homer, some people convert over to, all right, this guy's good. And that's, and that's why these prices keep going up. I hope that makes sense to you. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Come on, homie. Um, let's sort these real quick. What I'm really intrigued with here is this pop count. 510, that's all? Let's do the bin price. Buy it. Nah. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Ooh, lowest ranking see is for 180. Interesting. Let's see if there's any auctions going on. Again, low pop count card. Here's not. Oh, that's not the same one. It's a BCP one. Let's do ending soonest. There's only five results. I didn't need to sort it. There's one. There's one. There's a, there's a few to auction. I'm gonna put a link in this in the description of this because that pop count is just so low. I, I, I'm a buy on this card. That's that's all I gotta say. So I'll put a link in the description for the link to this one on eBay. Uh, next on the list, number two, Dustin May, 2020 Tops Base, pop count of only 467, but 16 sales on the week. That really tells you about the demand, because that's about a 40 
not 40, about a four, about three and a half to 4% sales volume. Anything over one is worth looking at. That's what I'll tell you. And this being that high, that is excessive demand. That almost tells me, and it went up 62%, I probably wouldn't buy it because that's just too much. But boy, I, I'm keeping my eye on it. But these prices are so low that I wouldn't ever buy this on eBay. What I would do is I would buy it on Starstock because if I buy it on Starstock, I'm not paying shipping fees and I'm not paying sales tax and I have the card instantly and I can relist it right on the marketplace. Um, the only thing I pay is a 5% seller's fee when I sell it, where on eBay you pay a 10% seller's fee. So with cards this low, it just doesn't make sense. Um, I suppose we pull up his chart. It just doesn't make sense to buy cards this low priced on eBay because after, like, say you pay 25 bucks. All right, let's look at this card. What's, going, what's the latest sale? 25 bucks. All right, and then I pay $5 shipping or four and a half bucks. All of a sudden, I'm at 30. And I'm paying sales tax. I live here in Washington, so we got a 10% sales tax, 10.1%. Oh. So now I'm at like 33 bucks. God, that's hard, man. This card's got to go up percentage on percentage points quite a bit what's got to go up it's got to go up 10 20 it's got to go up 30 it's probably got to go up like 70 percent for me to even make a few dollars on star stock i can just buy it for 25 bucks and uh let's see what's the exact card yes yeah, this one it's tops psa 10 now this person's out of their mind but what i would do is i buy a star stock a that's what i would do and Star Psych A is really a grade, you know, like it's not in a slab, but it's a grade. Like they, they're, they're neutral party. They're, the Star Psych A is really what is the, is the big pin, is the big thing of Star Stock. That is, the, is their business. Their reputation of what this Star Stock A means is, is their business because this is what makes them different from everyone else. So they look these cards over when people, um, you and I can send them in, they look them over and they say, uh, this is this one's a star stock A, which means they think if they, if you send it into PSA, they believe it will be a nine or a ten. And the last batch I looked at of um, star stock A cards that went into um, PSA, ninety two percent of them came back PSA nines or tens, with about I think about forty percent being tens. So this is a legit grade. You can basically count it as being a PSA nine, right? And for for these, his nine and his ten here are just way overvalued. Uh, I don't know what's with that. A uh, gold star. That's interesting. Are we looking at the tops or the tops chrome back here? It's just regular tops, right? So wh whoever listed the, this PSA 10 is just way out of their mind. Same thing with the 9. But the A is, is right on. That's probably about right. So that's what I buy. Buy for 80 cents. Maybe list it for 2 bucks. You know, ooh, what do I do? Make a dollar? Well, yeah. You know, you can buy you know, you can buy more than one of these. So anyways, I'll put a link in the description for Starstock. Uh, use code sports card consultant. You'll get ten dollars free when you deposit ten dollars or more. But for real, like if you're not using Star Stock, like eBay and Star Stock, you need to be using both of them. You just do. Because they're different marketplaces and they're both quite relevant. Um, so number one on the list, Mr. Aaron Judge. So he was on here twice. This is who I was really mentioning at the beginning of the video. That's really interesting to me because he's not on this list very much, which also is weird. But this week here he is, 2017 Bowman Chrome, number 56, base, pop count of 1208, not a real high pop count, 10 sales on the week, up basically 100%. By the way, that Dustin May, I wouldn't be a buy on that card. Aaron Judge, but if you are, use Starstock, not eBay, or, or buy a higher price card of him from me on eBay. That makes sense when the shipping doesn't make you just so far behind. This card started the week at 54 bucks, ends the week at 100 so that might be a bit of an outlier sale because the one before it was 50 bucks. The one before that was 85. Um, you know, Bowman Chrome, rookie card, not his first prospect. Bowman, God, doesn't he just look like he's just going to beat somebody all the time? Let me pull this up. Let's go, let's go to eBay and see what, see what we got going down. Here it is. 82 bucks or best offer. Interesting. That might be about the price. I mean, Aaron Judge had a good week, you know, I guess. It's kind of caused this extra demand going on with him. you got to ask yourself, is he going to keep it up? Um, I'm going to include a link in the description to this one. I don't know if I'm a buy on it, but I'm just going to include it for you to make your own decision of what you think of Aaron Judge. Because he was on here twice, and there's something interesting going on. If you're a buy on Aaron Judge, you know, 
get at it. But that was the top 10 here. Um, the links for everything in the description. By the way, it, uh, the Sports Card Society link in the description. The Market Movers Tool with the discount. That's in the description. The Card Pack Newsletter. Star Stock. And one thing I forgot to mention was if you want some help re learning how to read these charts better, I have this course, The Delta Factor. This link for this in the description. You get a couple bonuses too. You get a free month of Sports Card Society and a year access to the Discord. But this is really helpful in helping you um, read charts better and identify... Um, undervalued cards. So leave some comments, you know, use the kindness in your heart, not the troll insecurity stuff. Um, and give me some comments. We've thought about the baseball season. What do you think is going on with the, what do you think of the card market? Just whatever you got. If you got something that might be useful for somebody, leave a comment. Um, that's what I got. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Y'all are awesome card packs. Stay classy. I'll see you tomorrow.